Hey, 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 welcome to another Valley Forged. Today I am, I'm just ecstatic to talk about this laser. Everybody knows uh, that watches this channel knows I love longer. Um, they are just so consistent. Longer has never let me down. I can say that like flat out. Like I use this laser all the time, making so much more than any other laser I've used is longer lasers. And they've never, ever let me down. And that is really saying something. Um, so I can 100% recommend longer and I can a thousand percent recommend this laser, the 40 watt. Oh my gosh. Well, I have the 30, the 30 watt, right? And they sent me the 40 watt upgrade module. And the only word that keeps coming out from me, and I let my friend use it as well, beast. It is a freaking beast. I cannot believe this is a diode laser. It's insane. Uh, and as you probably saw on the cover, half inch cabinet material, you know, making kitchen drawers, no problem. Beautiful. Uh, you know, I am one, I always say, I hate it when these channels, well, I hate it, but you know, I, I just think it's a gimmick when people are like, oh, it can cut a two by four or whatever, you know? Yeah, Sure with tons of char and, you know, having to do all these things that you would never do in real life. Well, but this is real life. This is a real life kitchen drawer. I'm not really one to make kitchen drawers with a freaking laser, but my friend is like, hey, I want to make a kitchen drawer and I, I need to make these box joints. And, um, you know, it's difficult to do. And I, I imagine you can make dovetail joints. I haven't tried that yet. Um you know, all these crazy joints that you could make, that would be so difficult, the typical way. And now you could do them with a laser. It's just kind of, it still kind of blows me away. Uh, that's why I love lasers. It's like every day you wake up, you're like, oh, okay, what can I do with this thing today? You know, uh, wine barrels. I mean, this is something that is much more difficult to do even on a CO2 laser, because you have an enclosure, like, can it fit? And, you know, you've got to make sure you have a big enough bed size. But with something like this, you know, you could just take, you just set it on top if it's not big enough. But it just does a beautiful job of things like that. It does a beautiful job of so many things we're going to go through. I still only have one gripe with the freaking longer. You know, the, before the 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 nozzle, the air nozzle that came out of the bottom was a little bit too big. It was an easy fix, you know, all of the channels that covered it. We all love longer, but um they fixed that on this. So you don't have to worry about that anymore. The only thing I try and nitpick this machine, the only thing I can think of is that the fan doesn't shut off when you're not using it. That is the only thing. And so longer, fix that. It is, you know, yes, a lot of people probably don't care. That's the only gripe I have. Because it does have the automatic air. I mean, you can turn it on and off through light burn. It has everything. It has literally everything. And now it has this insane amount of power. And I, I sound all hyped, but you got to understand just how powerful this thing is. It's ridiculous. I, I, you know, diode lasers in general have just gotten so more useful, but this one has a pretty big bed size. It's a 450 by 4, 440 millimeters. So you could do a lot of work. And why is the power so important? You know, why is 30 watt or 20 watt not as good or whatever? They're great. I, you know, and for the price, whatever. But if you can get a 40 watt, holy moly. I mean, you guys out there who maybe have diode lasers, you're used to cutting things at maybe 300 millimeters per minute. They, you know, that's a pretty normal thing at hundred percent power. You know, you cut your uh, quarter inch plywood or whatever. Well, this is doing the four millimeter plywood, three millimeter plywood at 
regular plywood, you know, like birch and stuff at like a thousand millimeters per minute. It's insane. So I'll put up pictures of the cutting and the testing and, you know, yada, all that stuff. It's just going to, I'll just, you know, post some pictures of it, but you can see, look at this. It is ridiculous how much it's, it's not just that it'll do it. It's how fast it will do it. So if you wanted to start a, a small business, and I was just talking about that in the last video, but I was talking about under $1,000. Well, you're looking at two grand here because you got to get the honeycomb. You, you, you got to get all these little enclosure things like that. You got to get the materials. You got to get light burn. So this isn't a thousand dollars business starter. This is a two thousand dollar business starter. But the amount of things that you can do with this are just exponentially higher. And so you invest two thousand dollars, you've got a little small business here. And longer, you know, you could see the way that it is made. You everything is professional grade here. So you're not. It doesn't break down. I I mean, this is my third uh, longer module. And I have yet to have a single actual issue. And that's just incredible. I mean, coming from a guy who reviews lasers, it's really just um, a very consistent machine is which what, what you need. But you don't have to just listen to me. You can go to the other channels like Clack Shack or whoever else is. Uh, I've watched all the videos on longer and it's pretty unanimous that we all really love this machine. I got to say, you know, it's a, it's certainly a top pick for me um, as far as, you know, you just not having to deal with anything. So you got, as I said, the 450 by 440 millimeter uh, bed size. So you want to get a 500 by 500 millimeter honeycomb bed for this. Uh, 36,000 millimeters per minute. That's usable. See, with a lot of lasers, sure, it can do 50,000 millimeters per minute or whatever. But unless you have the power, it's really not usable. This is usable power and speed. So now you're making things so much faster. You got a small business or whatever you're doing. Time is money, all that kind of stuff. It's done. Stuff is just done. Um, as I said, the automatic air... The curve size seems pretty good. You could do a lot of great engraving. You know, my buddy pointed out, he's like, you know, people mostly defocus their laser when they do engraving anyways. Why is it so important? That I don't know. I'm not really the engraving master. I mean, I do basic engraves and things. Uh, I do mostly cutting. So this is why having a 40 watt is just like, you know, I do a lot of puzzle type things and you watch this channel, you know what I what I make, but I'm just telling you, this is it. This is a, um, if everything I'm talking about right now, like fits what you're trying to do, this is really, really incredible deal for the price. I highly recommend it. And I don't think anybody's going to come back to my channel and go, oh, I, I'm, I'm really regretting buying that longer. I don't, I, I just think it's like one of those things that is going to change lives and open up imagination. Just, you know, there's, I can't th tell you all of the things that you can do with this because it's kind of beyond my imagination right now. That's what I love about lasers. It's literally tomorrow I'll wake up and I'll find something else that's amazing that I can do that I hadn't thought of today. So, you know, I'm sure I've spilled, you know, put through all kinds of things that I've made on this and my, my friend has made, you know, we just had, we've just been having such a good time with this and I'm ecstatic. Um, you know, I'm not a hype channel, even though it probably feels like it in this video, but you know, go back, watch my other videos. I, I, I love lasers and there's a lot of great ones out there, but this one is really just kind of changing everything. And, uh, I, you know, hey, let me know if I'm missing something here. Uh, but I am super thankful to Longer for sending me this. I really, you know, wasn't expecting that it was going to change all that much for me. I have the 33 watt, which is fantastic. Um, does everything I want it to do. But having this much more power, 44 to 48 watt, I it feels like 50 watt. And uh, it really is something amazing. So 
Uh, link down below, of course, if you want to check it out. Uh, again, I highly recommend that. It And if anybody, you know, has any comments or thoughts or think I'm crazy or whatever, please leave your uh, comment below. But uh, I think this video is going to age well. And uh, I think Longer is really, really doing a fantastic job. So that's all I'm going to say. Uh, I'm going to get back to making stuff. And uh, I will see you in the next one. Love y'all.